All right, guys, welcome back. Um, today, we're going to talk a little bit about um, how you start out a new account. So I have a new account. It's sort of like a side project, but I feel like it's going to be a lot of fun and it's going to be uh, an enjoyable experience. And I want to share it with you guys on YouTube so that if you're just starting out or if you're rolling an alt or something like that, you can maybe get some information out of this that'll end up helping you out. So we're at level 19 here, still pretty, pretty early. We haven't even summoned a premium pack yet. Um, and we're building up with the goal, which I think all beginning players' goal should be, of GB10, Giants B10. I think if you focus everything on GB10, you'll be rewarded, and you can pivot a GB10 team into a TOA100 team with just the addition of Beretta, pretty much. So that should be your second goal. Um, okay, why am I making a new account? Why is little key flower here? Um, well, the answer is the picture on the left. It's all for this unit, the Light Sky Dancer, the Yin Hong. Um, Super excited. It's a really, really good RTA unit. I don't know that this account will ever get to that point, but, you know, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So we'll see. So basically what's happening so far is started off with the light Sky Dancer, and she's maxed level uh, 35, five star. And I have, I've only made one five star monster so far, and it's my Lapis, my Magic Knight. So you get some runes from doing the scenarios, and I think the Magic Knight is a, a good farmer with those runes if you don't end up pulling something else. I've not pulled a single four star on this account. It's just, you know, the normal the normal freebies and the Sky Dancer. So you get Shannon, Bernard, and Konamiya, well, as well as Decameron, but he doesn't really matter. You get these units for free just doing the challenges, and they're already awakened, which is great. Back when I started, you didn't get them for free. They weren't awakened. You have to had to sort of find them on your own, um, and it was a huge hassle. This is a dark monster I got also from a scroll, so kind of cool. So what you want to do is focus all your effort on basically the new challenges. Um, let's see here. We've got them. Um, they're I mean they're not really new anymore, but they're new to me. And you want to just look at what they want and try to accomplish it. So I started by getting someone up to level 15, doing the rune power up, you get all these cool things, fatal runes, mystical scrolls, bunch of energy. I'm working on powering up a two, four, and six slot. It's kind of difficult. Um, but basically, yeah, this is a great way to get free essences, highs, mids. I mean, it's just giving you this stuff that would normally take tons of time to farm, so I'm still working on that. Um, the giants as well is interesting. You can get mana, there's your Bernard, your free Bernard, just for clearing level three. There's your free Shannon. So if you work your way up, you're going to get really good stuff. And they're just going to sort of guide you in the right direction towards getting your account started. So I'm still working on some of these. I could, I could collect this right now, but I don't want to until I have enough time to actually use it. So some of these rewards, you can just let them sit there. You could have an XP booster. You could have Rainbow Mon. Things that aren't needed yet, maybe, that you would want to collect later. So... I would focus all your attention on those challenges and try to make a GB10 team. Um, most GB10 teams are going to be Shannon, Bernard, Bella, which I don't know that I'll go for Bella since I've got the Sky Dancer as a healer, but I might. I'm still going to get a Bella. You're still going to want a Bella. Shannon, Bernard, Bella, uh, maybe an alternate healer, a Kona or something else, and then a DPS if you get a good DPS or possibly a Darien if you get a Darien. So those are the monsters I'm working toward. It's really tempting to go off track and go for something else, but I'm trying to resist it and stay on track. At the same time, anytime I get a fusion monster, these are fusion monsters here, this guy, this guy, things that are going to work towards a Vero, Vero is the plan. If I can get a Vero in time to run GB10, I'm going to put the Vero right into GB10. He's going to be a big help. So Vero is also going to be useful in dragons, in TOA, so Shannon, Bernard, Healer, Vero, X is the goal, even though Vero is going to be a ways off. The biggest constraint in the early game is mana. I just don't have a lot of mana. Um, so I'm, I can't even power up all my runes because I just don't have the mana. I'm saving up my crystals for premium packs. I think a premium pack is a good choice early in the game because you can see I, don't, I just don't have anything. Every four star I pull is a useful unit because it's already level four. I mean, it's already four starred. So that's what I'm working towards there. Um, my plan for this weekend when I get a little bit of time to farm, I'm going to farm scenario. And what I've been working on is I've been farming Garen Forest Hell uh, stages two, four, and six because they will drop good, like, three, four, and five-star runes. So I've been really farming uh, this one, number two, because I want a slot two five-star speed rune. It can be white. It can have no substats. I just need that speed. My goal, and eventually, is to put a full swift set on all my supports with an energy offset. So Bernard, Shannon, 
Sky Dancer, Swift Set, Energy Offset. So the only way to get those right now is to farm giants, and I can't really farm giants very well, or to farm these scenarios. And you can see I can't even farm it with my farmer. I have to bring my OP five-star pocket healer to keep her alive. But, you know, you do what you got to do. Eventually, my farmer will have good enough runes, be able to take care of it on her own, but we're not there yet. So that's what we do. I've got I've got one slot two speed rune that's a five star and is despair and it happened to drop from giants. So it's pretty good. I think it's on my sky dancer actually. But my eventual goal is to get everyone over ten thousand HP so that I have a better shot with giants and to get their speed up. But we're a long ways away. We are rune starved. We're powering up white runes with nothing going on. So and that's that's early game. There's a lot of downtime in early game. There's a lot of time where there's not a lot going on. So that's kind of how it's going to go for a while. You just got to kind of roll with it and take it day by day. So I'm going to go ahead and finish clearing this. I'll show you some of the runes and we'll call it a day. I'll try to check in with this account every week. I'm hoping by next week I'll have maybe some of my supports five starred and maybe be a little closer to Vero. My goal is to be able to farm consistently. So that I think is a good fusion for me. No, maybe not. It's the ninja. Yeah, I'm... I'm I'm a ways away from a SIG. I don't even know if I'm going to start saving SIGs, but it's good fodder. Okay, so runes. This is going to hurt a little bit. My Sky Dancer is on energy, 1.5 energy sets, and half a swift set. This is probably one of my best runes I own. That is not a great rune, but it's all mine. And then that, I don't know what's going on there. It's just a little HP stat. So my goal is to get her on swift, and these are okay swifts for me for my current uh, situation. Here's Shannon. She is on HP, defense, HP, with some random stuff that just has tankiness on it. Bernard is up to 240 or 144, um, defense slot 2, sort of unique. And then we've got crit rate slot 4, because I just haven't pulled the tanky slot 4 rune of any sort that he has, so I'm waiting to give him that. That is just to complete the swift set. Obviously, that is garbage. Um, okay, Magic Knight. This is the quest or scenario reward runes from completing things. So these are good runes, actually. Unfortunately, that's an attack slot four. I thought it would be a crit damage or something, so I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with that, but it's still my best slot four, so on it goes. And that one's looking really nice with the crit rate. I wonder if I can power it up live on stream. Ooh, 19 crit rate. I mean, that's not, that's not bad. That's a pretty good rune, actually, to be honest with you. So I'll probably use that one for the foreseeable future. And I'd like to get my Kona rune, but I mean, this is what we're dealing with. Like, it's just a mess. I'd like to four-star my Kona, but we're not there yet. So that's the, the scenario. That's what an early game player's got going on. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to keep updating you. I'll, I'll show you as we go into Giants, as we work our way into TOA. And uh, yeah, we'll check in later. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you all later. Take care, everybody.